also going to suffer. Yeah, nothing else. He's got a great Oh, he's like still sliding through there. I think he's just doing this for fun. If I can't be in the show, I will be the show. I will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's still on it, I think. Yeah, he sure looks like it. Turn four, see what he does. The breaks here. Turn tips it in. Powers down. Get a little bit of rear kick. Oh, right off the road there. <laughs> four off. Bring it back to the checkers. Might not be faster, but it was a little more spectacular. It was spectacular indeed. He decided at the end, I'm, I'm doing track battle. Let's throw in a little rally. Way wide. Meanwhile, what a lap by Vu. Drops into the uh, a 46-7. Fabulous lap by Vu. Here comes Moroni now down towards turn 14. Time to beat 146, 726. Final turn. Throttles up. It's been a little bit rough around the edges, Greg, but is it fast enough? He ran much quicker earlier than a 145.7. A full second clear, but it was with a slightly better track condition. Across the stripe for Mario Moroni. If he goes to the top, he's going to win a 146.370. Mario Moroni to the top of the board in Falcon Club TR. Sprint, they have two more sessions to sort it out, but Cal Fortner trying to get up inside that top five at turn 14. Throttles up the by turbo field, up onto the front straightaway and to the stripe. Get. Oh, the checker, checker comes But is out. this a flying lap? Will it count for him? Yes, Boom. it does. P2 oh, for oh, Cal Fortner, oh, oh. a 137.878. Second place bumps out Devin Hoffman, and to oh. second goes Fortner. Wow. Oh, Swenson's off course. Drops a tire on the left, gets it back on the pavement, passes someone else who has found their way off course as well. But into turn 11, it's lap traffic now for the leaders. Now those tires have been cooked a little bit. Here comes Matt Walpum, though. <laughs> lap traffic in the way. Yes. Walpum closes in. It's two car lengths now. Two more corners left. Now just one. Walpum is so close. If Swenson makes a mistake, he'll be all over him onto the front straightaway. Swenson's got to be really gentle down through here. Don't get on the hammer too hard. Use your power to an advantage. Drove that to perfection, exactly what he had to do. Checkered flag, Jeremy Swenson hangs on in the wild final moments of race two. Races yes. the pass, there's Scott Robertson working over Carlos Mendez, who's new to the series. What a baptism this is here. Uh, this is a, quite the experience for a new driver. Robertson around the outside at turn 12. What a move, big oversteer there, right out to the edge of the road. Passes, that was incredible around the outside like that, Greg. Well, we talked about riding the cushion like you're on a dirt track, and he just flicked that in like a sprint car and just got up and around there, and that outside line would normally be a little bit more slick. He's gonna stand up and act like an air brake, like an F-16. Yep. Slow the thing down in the air. Turn it in, a little bit wide there, but it was yep. tidy. Back. It was tight. That's pretty savvy. Now, last time through, can he rebound? He needs to find about six tenths of a second. Jason Canacri, final corner in the McLaren 720S. Can he go to the top of the board and win in track modified? Here he comes. Yes! Yes! 134, 485, and he does it not only by a little bit, but by a second and a half. Side Houghton's got overlap, reigns side by side oh, still. So close. There was enough room for those cars and a piece of paper. They're still side by side. And this is should give the advantage to Houghton because he's got that wider line, but reigns finding a little bit of an edge on the inside there briefly. They're still side by side, Kyle. Towards turn 14, Houghton clears Andrew Reigns. He has to tuck back in. Morrison closes back in for second place, but James Houghton takes the lead away. He wants it here for this lap, but he gets one more, doesn't he? Into turns 12 and 13. This is completing his first flying lap. Fortner improved to only a tenth off of his Q2 time. Amick was not a whole lot faster. Two tenths quicker in qualifying. Last corner for Amick. One. Whoa, he slips. Drops a tire and, and Curly is there to the driver's left of the leader. Side by side into the final corner. Swenson's got it. Crossover at the exit. No. Swenson covers and they head for home. Curly oh. side by side. Swenson slow. Here comes Paul Curley to the stripe. And he's in the final turn, he's done it. Paul Curley passed and wins GLTC race three. Holy cow, what a move by Curley.